In this chapter, we're going to talk about implementing automation. So the first thing I'm going to do is configure some automation accounts. And I'm going to create an automation account. That's a temp password, and also on this one should be in right here. Now after this, I'm going to go back to settings. I'm going to click on administrators, and I'm going to add So I've added as a co-administrator and this one, check on this. Great. Now I'm going to take the, the after this is finished, I'm going to take this, I'm going to sign out, and then I'm going to add in with this one right here. I'm going to sign in. for the temporary password. Hopefully this will let me in. Okay, so I've logged in as this, as the this right here. Then I'm going to do as this. on the other settings. Actually, let me go to automation. Go back here with this user. I'm going to then click on this. Datum. Assets. I'm going to add a setting. And this comes in. I'm going to add a setting. I'm going to add... Oh! credential to this Windows PowerShell credential I'm going to call this I'm going to call it P S credential Username will be this Oops Just confirm the password PA dollar sign dollar sign W zero R D. And I'm creating the credential. And I'm gonna do is add setting. I'm gonna add a variable to here. Now the variable type, I'm gonna say string on here. Subscription name. I'm going to put the name of mine in there, and I'm going to complete it. Great. So I'm going to do is this, I'm going to add in some more variables, string, admin name, student,
add another variable in there. String. Admin password. Password one two three. So that's what the lab says. After I do that one, location. Location. Subnet one. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add. I'm going to add s schedule next. Check this right here. First, I'm doing is I'm going to do is this I'm going to import a ROM book. Click on this. Complete. So in this one right here, what I'm going to do is this. Code block A to code block N. this. I'm going to copy this. Right here. Paste this in here. Part of it right here. I want to test it. Yes, I want to test it.
output ones until the storage ones are displayed. The variables only at this phase. Putting this one in here. After that run book over here, let's see. After the code, let's see where the code block A is. Paste that one there. Put that one in there, code block B. Let's test that. Testing it. Now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put in code block C. Test that. What I'm going to do is I pasted this one here, but I'm not going to run it. I'm just going to save it. This is just testing would just testing would create it for storage, and I want to automate storage creation and VM deployment as one script. Now after this one, I'm going to do is the next. So let me do this here. Block E. This code right here is going to create parallels these two new servers right here. I'm going to save that right there. Next, thing I'm going to do is publish the ROM book right here. Go to a command prompt right here. into the time to notice the current time we have on here. Switch in that explorer. I'm going to publish this. Yes, I'm going to publish this. Great, it was the draft was saved and it was published. Great. I'll miss right now. I'm going to check on the schedule right now, and I'm going to link it to an existing schedule. And I'm going to link it to that schedule that I created. End of day. Anyway, this is just to show you that the schedule was there. Great. Okay. I'm going to link to an ex let's see to a new schedule. The name of the one here is going to call it test. Right now. Red arrow. I'm going to click one time start time. And the time on this. Let's just check that time again. 3.32 a.m. Plus 5 minutes, 3.32 a.m. Okay, I have 339. Click the red arrow. Great. Look at the 
schedule right here. The next run time is going to be 3.39 a.m. In five minutes. As you can see, these two virtual machines have deployed. So everything on here from that job has deployed two cloud services, virtual network, and two virtual machines. This concludes this lab. Thank you.